Hi. Hi, Jen. Well, welcome to Friends of Heaven. I'm Pastor Wayne. Yeah, I uh, lost my fiance eight weeks ago. It was really sudden. So sorry. One minute we were eating dinner, and then the next he was gone. How do you forgive someone who hits your husband with their car and then drives away, leaving him to bleed to death on the side of the road? How do you forgive that? Feel free to call me. We can not sleep together. Thank you. For what? I don't know. Just for coming into my life, I guess. For I'm not saying and doing the same stupid shit that everybody says and does that just makes you feel more alone than you already are, you know? Shall I come over? Nope. Because I'm coming to you. What? And I'm pulling up right now. Can I help you? You're Steve. Judy doesn't live here anymore. She doesn't? No, we broke up two months ago. Her fiance is not dead. He didn't die two months ago, but I did lose him because he broke up with me. Oh my God, that is not the same. He broke up with me because we really wanted to have kids. I'm so sorry. And we tried, and we tried for this years. And I couldn't. I just kept having miscarriages. I'm really sorry that I said you didn't belong. And you've, you've lost a lot, too. Welcome to what? To come and stay with us. Wow, that's very generous. But you don't have to take pity on me just because I'm a 41-year-old barren woman sleeping in an assisted living facility. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Told you. Judy. I'm Judy. Ma'am, we're here to inform you that a temporary restraining order has been placed on you, barring you within 100 feet of Stephen Wood. So what, are you, are you stalking him? No, not really. So, so what is it, just like a light stalking? I called him a bunch of times and he didn't answer, so mm -hmm. I showed up at his office. I want the gun. Hmm? What gun? Dad's gun. Okay, well, it is in the safe and I do not have the combination. I appreciate you making room for me. Yeah, I appreciate you telling me about the storage place. hard on you. I'm a wreck. Actually, I'm okay. But of course I can't. Ted was my only son. Ted was my only husband. His wife. Whose wife? The guy we hit. And I befriended her, and I've been trying to tell you, but he keeps shutting me out. Why would you? What the fuck are you thinking? This is actually about the car you called me about the other day. Mm, what about it? Someone took a golf club to it. Did they? Who did it? Who did it? Who did it? I did it. I destroyed that Corvette. I saw the guy speeding, and he could have hurt someone, and then Jen was so upset. I know what you're going to say. Are you trying to get caught? No. Okay, but then please, you don't have to follow every impulse. I got you. Oh, God. Fuck. 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 Fuck
talk. What? Steve's pulling his house off the market. Like, I need that shit right now. You're moving back in there? I really wanted to tell you this morning, but I didn't want... This whole thing with Bambi came up. Ted's your boyfriend? He was. I don't really know what he is now. How long were you dating, Bambi? Not that long. Like a year and a half. Holy shit. I'm sorry. Ted, he's dead. Uh, Judy's not coming back. I mean, it's not like you ever let her live in this house to begin with. Ted, he told Bambi that you were dead. Breast cancer. And that he was raising the kids all alone. This is Nick. Hi, Nick. He's a cop. A detective, actually. You ever saw the hit and run? Yes. Your son's been dealing drugs. Oh, my God. I'm really sorry about everything that you went through with finding Henry's dad. I bet that was really scary for you. Are you okay? Police, open up. Charlie Hardy. Hey. All right, here we go. The fuck is this? Jesus Christ. Holy shit. Hi. What the hell are you doing with the gun? Where did you get this gun, Charlie? I stole it from Grandma. Safety is off. Oh, Jesus Christ. I had a little chat with Shandy about the morning she found Ted's corpse. This is a body. Hand it over. She took a little souvenir. Wow. What is that? I think it's maybe from a headlight. Am I welcome? What am I looking at? That is a piece of the car that killed Ted. Hard evidence that I procured. What are you doing here? She's got a piece of the car. What are you talking Jen, about? Jen, she has a piece of our car. Oh. She's putting it through the scanner Easy. right now. Right? You dismantle it, you break it down to the component parts, you dump them in three different junkyards in Mexico, and poof, the car is gone. Keep driving clients away. You scare people. You scare me. So what is happening here right now? Are you breaking up with me? Just professionally. They found the make and model of the car that killed Ted. What? Uh-huh. And that was Nick, and he's going to get me a list of every registered owner of that kind of car in Orange County. Oh. Is this ethical? Harassing people because they're on a list? It's not unethical. We're not hurting anybody. Just casually tracking down people on vintage Mustangs. I broke up with the guy that I'm seeing. Okay. Because he's not you. Die, Mara. <laughs> and because I think I might be pregnant. I'm not. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. Really, I never will be. But this job isn't for me, Lorna. It's for the boys. They are craving stability and electronics. The detective came by the gallery today, started asking me questions about the Mustang. If anybody goes down for this, it is you. You were driving. You were the criminal. I'm the only eyewitness. But you said we were in this together. Well, now it's every man for himself. So Judy Hale and Steve Wood are responsible for the Harding hit and run. I have something to tell you. Something that. Steve Wood is a money launderer. A money launderer? Yeah, and a tax evader. He has a shell company, it's called TKG Arts. It's a gallery, and frankly, some of the stuff is pretty good, but mostly he uses it to funnel money for his international clients. On that road, because he didn't want to spend another second in this house with me. I killed him. No, I hit him. What? I hit him. Okay, what are you? 
I hit it. I had a 66 Mustang. Didn't see a bend in the road, and I took it too fast, and I... But I thought if I could just somehow make it up to you, if I could help you somehow, or if I could be your friend, you could die. Mrs. Harding, hi. Judy Hale killed my husband. Yeah? She confessed it to me. And how much were you looking to withdraw today from the joint account? All of it, please. She was here earlier and she what? She what? She, she closed the account. You were in the car. Like that. Fuck you. Fuck you. She was driving. She did it. What did you say, huh? Okay. After she hit him, what did you say? I don't remember. Okay, you need to leave my house right now. Jesus, fuck. I'm a good guy, Jen. No, you're not a good guy. Hello? Judy? I need you to come home. <laughs>